we're back. My name is Becca. Come on. And then here's Shadow getting her mini marshmallows. She, um, it throws her off because I don't do videos as often anymore. Um, so when I do this, she gets all ready to get up here and kind of say hi and do the greeting. So got your marshmallows. Um, so this is floss tube number 75 and I am Sam Bree Stitches here on floss tube and Instagram. Thank you for breathing your stank breath in my face. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, and today is Wednesday, July 29th. Um, this might be a fairly long one. Um, it's been, it's been a couple of weeks. <laughs> been busy. Um, I just want to say thank you to all of the new subscribers and viewers. I've received quite a few and I appreciate the shout outs um, from all the other floss tubers um, that have brought you all over. So, so thank you so much for giving my channel a chance and for subscribing. And to my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you all so much. Love you guys. Love the comments. I read them every night and I respond to each and every one of them. Um, you are all just absolutely amazing and so supportive. Um, so past couple of weeks recap, there wasn't like it, not a whole lot going on. I did a lot of stitching, um, which is, which is good because then I have a lot to show you guys. Um, I did have a doctor's appointment and, um, they had me wear a Holter heart monitor for 48 hours over the weekend while I was at work. Um, I'm having a very, very hard time uh, wearing a mask and working retail. Um, my heart rate skyrockets to 140. I get dizzy, it's hard to breathe, that kind of thing. So um, it'll be a couple of weeks before we get the results of that, but I've been put on some new medication and hopefully my boss has found me a working from home position um, so that I could partially do that work like half day in the store to still support them. We'll see. So that was fun. So I did that. Um, and then this past Monday was my husband's day off. He gets every other Monday off. Um, and that's usually our day that we have been going and doing something. Um, and this past Monday, we went to Mount Rainier. It was a beautiful, beautiful hot day. It was one of the hottest days of the year so far. Um, it was 90 something and really really hot um i inserted some pictures and i did a video recap of our rainier trip that i uploaded so many of you enjoyed that and i'm i'm just so happy that i can bring some of the pacific northwest to all of you um and just bring some joy um i did something special though i brought up a very special piece um, that I've been working on. I believe we started it on Memorial Day. I didn't look. I probably should have. Um, with some of the Pacific Northwest stitchers, we're doing a saddle together. And I put in my last stitch up at Paradise on Mount Rainier. Um, so if you watched the video, you saw it. But if not, I'm going to insert the video and a couple of photos here. Ready? I put it in my last stitch up at Mount Rainier. And I have a finish. So that was just absolutely amazing. Um, I, I stayed and sat in the shade of the building. It was nice and cool there. And I stitched on another piece. Uh, while my husband went and did some crazy hiking um, in the 90 plus degree heat. You know, he's a retired Marine, so nothing phases him. Um, yeah, so that was a nice day. I also took some time to organize all of my physical charts um, and put them in binders. I went to the dollar store and bought a bunch of binders and a bunch of page protectors and started organizing them. Um, I still need to label the binders and I still need to get one or two more um because i filled up the ones that i have but that was very time consuming i discovered i have an insane amount of charts i will insert a picture of what i have done so far um but still have a lot of work ahead of me and then um been doing some interviews and today um i had to cancel the zoom meetup um 
because I had to take my youngest daughter to urgent care on base and usually that's an all-day event. Um, she had fallen in the shower a couple of weeks ago and her wrist was like bugging her but you know it was tolerable and I guess the past couple of days it's just gotten so bad that she can't move it. Um, so we went to urgent care, they took some x-rays, it is not broken, it is severely um, bruised and damaged tissue and nerves. Um, she lost filling in um, her thumb and her first finger um, and then shooting pains go all the way up her arm to like her elbow. So they put her in a, um, I can't think of what it's called, not a cast. Um, I can't think of what it's called, a wrist, a heart. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> they put her in like a wrist strap type of thing to, or immobilize her wrist so it doesn't hurt. Put her on some uh, lidocaine patches and some anti-inflammatory pills. And um, she has a follow-up in three weeks. So she'll wear it for three weeks. So that was fun. Thank you all for understanding um, and, and all the well wishes from uh, the messages that I sent out about canceling the Zoom meetup. I appreciate that. So, so yeah, that's been a couple of weeks. Um, I also took some time to organize all of my physical charts um, and put them in binders. I went to the dollar store and bought a bunch of binders and a bunch of page protectors and started organizing them. Um, I still need to label the binders and I still need to get one or two more. Um, because I filled up the ones that I have, but that was very time consuming. I discovered I have an insane amount of charts. I will insert a picture of what I have done so far, um, but still so have a lot of work ahead of me. Oh, next week I will be down in Portland. I'm going to visit my sister and we are gonna go shopping at Acorns and Threads again. I know I said I didn't need to buy anything else, but I lied. Always need to buy something else. <laughs> So I'm excited for that. I already sent Janine a list of everything that I needed in my bag so that it's ready to go. Um, so that'll be fun. And that's pretty much it for my plans and my weekly wrap, wrap up. So interviews. Um, I've done quite a few. I am trying to like schedule them ahead of time since it's once a week that they go up so that I can take a week off when we go camping. Um, so Melanie Watkins interview went up, I think this past Sunday. Um, she is such an inspiring, uplifting person. And many of you have gone to check out her channel. So we appreciate that. It was, it was a great interview. Um, I've also interviewed Amy and her husband, Gary, who is the, they're the globe trotting stitcher, um, on Floss Dew. Her husband, I wanted him in the interview too, um, because he's behind the scenes. He does the recording and the editing, so it was nice. And I laughed the first time, and I laughed the second time when I was editing. Um, so that's a funny interview. I also interviewed um, Ellen from Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour. So that was awesome. And I interviewed, um, who else? Amy Loves Toads that was awesome um she said she was really nervous but it was just it was an amazing interview and she seemed very comfortable so that'll be going up on the 16th um and then tomorrow i'm interviewing my my friend robin she's lady robins on floss tube and um hopefully next week um i will be interviewing carla being crafty um and i'll reach out to a few others these are so much fun to do. I love the interviews. I love that you guys are enjoying them too. Um, they're, they're just a blast to do um, and I love it. So I'm gonna keep them going as long as people will keep saying yes to the interviews. It's a lot of fun. Um, so keep the suggestions coming. I have a list um, and the interviews that I am doing, they're in no particular order of favoritism or anything. Um, I just pick and choose people and ask if they want to do the interview. Um, nobody has told me no. Um, some have said, you know, not at this moment. I'm not in the right place at this moment, um, but they want to do it. Um, so I just keep a list and just keep reaching out to people. Um, and I'm looking for some newer ones too, because, you know, I've been, I've been interviewing some more of the well-known 
um, floss tubers. So I want to start looking for some newer floss tubers to introduce everybody to as well. So, and um, yeah, so, and I also want to get some of the people that are in my Zoom meetups too, because, you know, I become friends with them and they have amazing floss tubes and I want to get them out there too. So, all right. So I think I've talked enough. Um, so since you saw the pictures of my finish um, up at Mount Rainier, I'll just show my finish first. Um, so it is Memorial Day from Hands On Design. And this is one of my like most favorite patterns that I have stitched. Um, and sorry, I have not had a chance to iron. Like I said, we spent all day. I babysat yesterday and most of the day in urgent care today. Um, so this is on 18 count heroic from picture this plus and I used my own colors. Um, and I did post them on Instagram, so you can go check that out. I did um, post my finish on there. So I love this so much. I have not had a chance to fully finish it yet, but I do know what I want to do with it. Um, but I love it. I love it. I did mess up. Um, apparently I made, because I had stitched this post first. And apparently I had made it too short and didn't realize it. So the grass and the flowers are basically right up on the flags. There's supposed to be space in between them, but I, I made it work. I still think it works. So that's my finish. And then I have two FFOs to show you. Um, the first one is from um, one of my uh, new favorite designers. Um, mostly it's all PDFs and this is Joy to the World from Cherry Hill Stitchery. And I did my own colors on this too. I think I posted it on Instagram. Um, so this basket, I wanna say I got it at like Michael's or Walmart um, over the holidays. And um, I did sticky board um, and that is 18 count. I can't think of what that one is, it's opalescent. Um, but I'll put the information down below, but it is an 18 count fabric and I'm pretty sure it's be stitch me, but it's opalescent. And so I added to the basket, like I added the little white, uh, sprigs just to pull in the white from the snowman. Um, and then, you know, mounted it on sticky board and it's got some white snowflake sparkly fabric on the back. And all I did was just tie it in the back. So hopefully it stays like that. So that's my finish. Um, Cherry Hill Stitchery, I'll put the link below. You're going to be using the link anyways in a little bit and you'll see why. Um, my other finish, my other fully finish is, um, I didn't bring up the pattern, but it is Summer Gathering from Homespun Elegance. This was a sal that, um, Jennifer stitched in the bluegrass or Spucky Jen on Instagram and I were doing together. And this is my finish. So I mounted it on sticky board and I put some of the thick uh, twine. This um, gate thing I got from Goodwill for like $4. And then I just put in some uh, greenery and stuff from uh, Michael's, which is funny because I had to get input from my oldest daughter and then my from my friend Nisha, um, some input on because I had another flower here because I felt like it was too empty. Um, but they said that this was perfect. So there's some fake greenery, some hay, a little sunflower. And this seems to be the favorite finish that I've done from both of my girls. They, they love this finish. So I love it. I think I might just keep it out year round. You never know. Sorry, I need to drink a water. I'm pretty dehydrated from spending all day at urgent care and having to deal with wearing a mask. So I didn't bring water in. And so those are my finishes and my FFOs. I am going to show you my whips and there's quite a few whips. So we'll start with the one that has basically become my project that I do if I'm gonna be waiting. Um, I started this a few years ago and I stitched on it when my daughter was um, waiting to walk across the stage to earn her associate's degree. Um, I stitched on this during my younger daughter's choir concerts when we, you know, got there ahead of time to get seats. 
I stitch on it at doctor's appointments because it's fill-in. So it's kind of become a, you know, time killer piece. But it's Erica Michaels, thanks to the Brave. And I'm using my own colors on this. And this is on 18 Count Heroic from Picture This Plus. It's like one of my favorite fabrics. Um, and there it is. So I got quite a bit of the white filled in in the middle. So I love it. This one's going to take forever just because it's there's so much fill in that it just it's going to take forever. So the next one is a sal that I am doing with my friend um, Christy on Instagram and Anna Stitch Rody has joined in too. Um, and then this is Tiny Modernists uh, Halloween Ouija. Um, and we hashtag this Ouija sal, hashtag Ouija sal. And I, I'm trying to get this out of the way. This is where I'm at. And this is on 18 Count Wicked from Be Stitch Me. And the white that you see is glow in the dark. So I'll insert a picture of the glow in the dark photo. I think I have one, if not. And this needle minder is awesome. I don't know if you could see it. But I got it from Gina's Unique Boutique. And I love it. The second part has already come out. I will show you that in my haul, but I'm not gonna, definitely not gonna keep up on it, but you know, I wanna keep working on it at my own pace. I can't get it back in its bag. Okay, well, we'll just do that. And the next one, I will have to insert a picture of this because it is a PDF. Um, and it is for a good cause. Um, Misty Purcell, Luminous Fiber Arts, um, posted this um, in her Etsy shop to raise money for her niece and nephew um, that are going through some health um, issues right now. So this is like, I'm branching out from what I usually stitch on. Um, and this is like an all red piece, which is strange for me. This is on 18 Count Dusty Road by Seraphim Fabrics. And that's where I am at. I love this so much. Um, I'm using my own red. I'm using Valor um, from Color and Cotton. And I love it. It's so, so pretty. I hope I have enough for it. If not, I can switch up a different red for some of the flowers or something in it. We'll see. Uh, the next one is another one that I never thought that I would stitch. I started a Quaker, y'all. So I'll insert a picture of it here. Um, I saw this randomly on Instagram. Al Forest Embroidery had posted that it was on sale. Um, they have the this version, the color version, or they have like a blue version. Um, but I am doing the color version. And this is what I stitched on while waiting for my husband to hike. Um, let me put something behind it. And this is on 18 count vintage country mocha. I love it. So I started a Quaker. I have two samplers, a Mira, a Quaker, a red, I don't know if that's called red work because it's all red. Um, I don't know who I am anymore. My stitching taste has evolved. All right, now for my, oh, and I have a um, diamond painting to show too. Progress. All right, so now we're on to my big pieces that I love so much. So the first one is uh, Teresa Kogut's A Land That I Love. This is a sal that um, the Zoom group that I host, a few of us are stitching and a whole bunch of other people. Everybody's welcome. It's called A Land That I Love Zoom Sal. And this is on 18 count homeland, I think is what Brandy and I named it. Um, and hopefully you can see it. It's so pretty. I love it. So that's how far I've gotten. Um, the white letters that you see, I am doing our initials. So um, both of my girls and me and my husband, I will be doing our initials in white. 
the other one that I absolutely just cannot put down is Huckleberry Farm from the Blue Flower. And I know many people are stitching this and it's so beautiful. Um, and then this is on 18 count pansy from Picture This Plus. Is that not gorgeous? I finished the bear. I finished the letters. I love it so much. Look at me in samplers. All right. And then this is a favorite for a lot of people. It's a favorite of mine. There is my unicorn chart, Lady of the Flag. Unicorn chart meaning like hard to get out of print hard to find um she is on a custom piece that brandy is now selling this is 16 count patriotic and i got quite a bit done i got her arm done but i'm not back stitching right now i got some of the blue done in the flag it's so pretty my uh once i finish this i have queen of peace ready to go with fabric and everything um, so I think that'll be my next start. And then Queen of Freedom. And then I have a couple other ones too. Um, so those are my stitching whips. I do have a um, diamond painting. That I did a lot of the blues and some whites and some of the leaves. I don't know if you can see any of it. But this, I will put the link down below. It's an ant off of Amazon. It is um, round diamonds, but it's just so pretty. But I don't, I don't work on this that much because I feel like it takes away from my stitching and I'd rather be stitching. So I worked on it like a couple of hours last night. Um, so. All right. So we're on to um, haul, and then after kind of haul slash stitchy kindness slash giveaway, all in one. Um, so first I'm going to do uh, my haul because then it won't get confusing. So um, I'm part of the Floss of the Month Club from Trish at Threads Entwined, and I do the... Uh, three, nine, I think it's nine. Uh, so I get three weeks, three gas and three classic color works, I think. Um, and then she, she sent us the ones that were missing from a previous month. So there were pinks cause you know, COVID back order. So she sent those. Um, and then here are the reds that we received. I'm not going to read through all of them because I know people show them, but are they not gorgeous? Oh, hopefully you can see those. So I love this. I love this floss of the month because it's, it's just such a good, good deal and fun, fun to get pretty floss every month. Um, so I ordered, um, from Colleen. She is, um, on Instagram, um, she sells needle minders and I had ordered from her for the Ouija style that I'm doing. Um, I had ordered this and, um, the first one she sent, she sends her packages with tracking, which is awesome. But the first one that she sent, the tracking got stuck and it didn't show up and we waited and we waited. And so finally she sent me a second one. Um, and she sent me a little gift. Okay, isn't he cute? It's like a little gummy bear. Um, she's Rebel Stitcher. Um, Instagram, she's Moon Pie Frey. Um, so I will put her information down below. Um, but so the first package arrived and it looked like it had been ran over and destroyed. And the a needle binder was detached from the magnet. And, you know, it wasn't a big deal. Um, I could E6000 it back on, which I still need to do. Um, but she sent me a replacement. And <laughs> funny thing was, the first package derived the day before the replacement 
arrived. Like it was crazy how that happened. Um, but so I have that and this might be a future giveaway possibly. Um, I need to E6000 the first one, but she said I could use the one as a giveaway. It's just not going to be today. Um, you know me, it's not a haul without some fabric. So <laughs> I have 18 count. Um, this has no name on it. I think this was the fabric of the month from Be Stitch Me. I have an order in for some neutrals because I am like all of a sudden on sampler overload and wants I want to start all the samplers that is just absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous it's like a pale 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 pink purple um and then my other uh fabric of the month this is from picture this plus and then it's uh 18 count de bloom everybody's seen de bloom this is good sampler color I think so but I want to see what brandy comes up with um, I told her I want some sampler neutrals, so she's gonna, she's been working on that. Um, some other haul, this was from Starlight Stitchery. I ordered the monthly, um, releases of Halloween Ouija through them, but this is the second release. And I think that I'm going to do, cause it's these four corners, I'm going to do those in glow in the dark floss too. So it's pretty cool. Um, I claimed off of Stash Unload, uh, Love It Patriotic, is that not beautiful, Union Forever, from, um, I think this is Blackbird Designs, I'm not super knowledgeable, yeah, Blackbird Designs 2005, I think it's out of print, I also got a second little pattern with it, so, those two came together and then um also got summer house pinky station nash primitives i believe i've got this because i was binge watching uh brenda and laura um the serial starters and i saw this and thought it was perfect because i could make that dog black for shadow that it looks like a cat but i could you know emma my small chihuahua she thinks she's a cat, so, and that's the color of her. So I thought that'd be cute for my animals. And I also bought Farmstead Christmas Plum Street Samplers because I am farm obsessed in my decor and I love Christmas. So I thought that was a cool pattern. Um, then I received some gifts and these gifts are gifts from a new batch of friends. Like I got spoiled with my 1000 subscriber giveaway with a group of friends that was absolutely amazing and now for my 2000 subscriber giveaway almost 2500 not that close but getting there um i got spoiled i didn't even ask and a new group of friends just sent me stuff they're uh, they're just absolutely amazing so um i'm gonna show you two and then um because she, she sent four but i'm gonna show you two that i'm keeping that she sent for me um this came from Carrie and Stitches. I interviewed her. She's super sweet. We're friends. Um, and she sent me, so first off, if you've been watching me for a little while, you know, she had made a comment that her daughter thought that I should interview her. And I was like, I'm down, let's do it. And we set up an interview and it was really cool. Cause then I got to meet her daughter um, after we were done recording. Her daughter, made me this. Look at it. Is that not gorgeous? I think her daughter, I want to say her daughter is 10. Look at that. And her name is Lottie. So Lottie, thank you so much, Lottie. I already messaged Carrie and thanked her. Um, but and then she, uh, Carrie made me this one. Is that not gorgeous? It's funny, Carrie, if you're watching, um, I didn't see this on the back and I was looking between the, the other three um, for which one that I wanted to keep. And I picked this one and then now I just noticed that it said 
for Becca from Curry. So you knew I was going to pick this one anyways. I love it. Um, now for giveaway slash stitchy kindness. The first giveaway, I don't have anything to show uh, because Deanna from Cherry Hill Stitchery um, is donating a pattern. Um, I asked her, I reached out and asked her if I could pay for one and she said, no, 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 I just want to donate. Um, her patterns are awesome. I think I also did a giveaway for a 1K for her as well. Um, so what I ask that you go do is if you haven't already, go in and heart her shop. There'll be a link down below. Um, and tell me what chart um, you would like. And then the winner will get an email from me um, with the PDF. Deanna's gonna send it to me and then I'm gonna send it to you. And it's all okay from the multi P or the multi sending of PDFs. She's okay with it. So, so um, using the keyword chart for that one. Um, so, and then the rest of them, you're going to, uh, I feel like we need something uplifting. And I ask the same questions in all of my interviews and I leave my favorite question for the end. So if you've watched the interviews, um, you know what I'm going to ask y'all. Um, but I'm curious because I need a little pick me up and I think others do too if they like to read the comments. I'm going to ask you a question that I ask in all of my interviews. It's my favorite question at the very end. Um, I'm going to ask you, what is the best thing that has happened to you so far this year? Because I'm curious. I want to know. Yes, I know coronavirus, the pandemic, everything has been awful, the, you know, uh, with and everything else that's going on. But I want to know the best thing that's happened to you out of all of it. And hopefully everybody likes reading the comments. If it's, if it's something too personal, you don't have to leave it because I'm going to ask you to use keywords anyways. Um, but I'm just curious on the answer. If you just want to do the keywords and don't feel comfortable answering the questions, you don't have to. So, all right. So the first thing that I'm going to show you. Um, so this is from my friend and Anna's friend, Chris Yo. Um, I will put her links and everything down below. Um, I want to make sure she's got an, she's got an Etsy, so I'm going to put a link down below. Um, but she sent me a really nice card. Um, but y'all, as soon as I got this and looked through it, I placed an order with her. <laughs> I almost just kept this one, but, um, I'm going to get a, an Eagle one. So she made this. It's got a little thing that says stitch on. She stitched, stitch on, and the fabric is beautiful. And then on the inside, and then as I flipped through this, I was like, I have to, like, she has instructions and um, you have like this whole section of putting in your project and all the information in it. Um, and like, there's a, there's a whole bunch of projects. And then there's another explanation for the next section. And I'm just doing this really quick. There's the... And then this one's like notes and inventory section. Which is really cool. Um, it's just a, a good section of that. And then it's just a beautiful back to it. And as soon as I got this, she also sent a pen to go along with it. Um, I flipped through it and I was like, I need one. So um, I placed an order with her and we had to order the fabric. I picked this really beautiful eagles with a mountain, you know, a whole Pacific Northwest theme. Um, but she's going to make me one. I paid for it. I think a custom order was 35 and these are 30 by themselves if she has it pre-made. Um, so go check out her. Etsy shop. The link will be down below. Please heart it. Um, and if you would like to order one, if you don't win this, you can contact her. She's awesome. She is a friend of mine. Um, and I'm super excited to get mine so that I could show you all a little bit more in detail. Um, but this is a giveaway. She donated this for a giveaway. So after you've gone and you've hearted her Etsy shop, um, you're just going to uh, use the word journal for that. 
so that's one giveaway. Uh, the next ones are, I showed these in my haul um, video, but these are from my good friend Nisha. I love and adore her. Um, she is the mom of the Sassy Stitchin' Sisters and Brother. I love those kiddos. Um, I get to see him when she hops on Zooms and stuff like that. And and I love talking with her too. She's the one that I asked for advice on the, the, the decor. So you'll get the mini bag that she made. And you will get one of the um, stitching accessories that Carrie and Stitches sent. And this one is gorgeous. It's got like roses and pinks and greens. So you'll get these two. And for this one, you use the keyword Cadbury. C-A-D-B-U-R-Y. Okay. The next one is a bag from Nisha. And these are smaller. You know, these are like little accessory bags. So you'll get the Dove bag and you will get this patriotic, beautiful fob. This one's so full of charms and beads. So you'll get these two. And in this one, you want to use the word Dove, D-O-V-E. Now for the bigger ones. So this is the bag that Nisha made. And in it, this is a, a bigger giveaway. Ooh, this is probably a little bit bent because I put it in there. You will get ink circles, the queen that was. You will get a couple thread spools. And who does not need some black and white DMC? Get that. And you'll get a needle threader. And a snag nabbit because Steph swears by these and I love mine that I got. So I want to make sure that you have a snag nabbit. And a pair of socks. These are brand new from Joann's Procrastinating. And a little needle minder by Minders and More by Megan. Okay, so in this one, you're going to write York, Y-O-R-K, for that bundle. Let me put everything back in there really quickly. Hopefully that pattern doesn't get too bent up in there. So there's that one, and then there's one more bundle. Cinnamon Bears. This bag was made by my good friend Nisha. And in it, you will get Crafting Queen socks. These are from Joann's. I love them. Um, you will also get the queen that was. I bought a couple when I was down at Acorns. You will also get thread spools, two of them, to try out. You will also get a needle minder from Minders and More by Megan. This one's a heart. And you will also get a needle threader and um, snag nabbit. And you will also get a DMC uh, combo, black and white. Um, and this one, you're going to say cinnamon. C-I-N-N-A-M-O-N. -N -N. So, keywords. Cinnamon, York for the other bundle, Dove for the smaller bag and the key fob from Carrie and Stitches, Cadbury for the other ba small bag and key fob, and Journal for Chris's amazing journal, and Chart for Cherry Hill Stitcheries charts. Yeah, okay, that was a really, really good giveaway, and I'm almost at 2,500. <laughs> Oh, I just wanted to add this in, totally forgot. So I'm gonna add it in after the giveaway. Um, Carrie in Stitches does not sell her fobs. She just makes them for fun. Um, and Nisha with the bags, she doesn't sell them, but if you're really interested in them, you can message her. Um, I can put her Instagram down below 
and she will, you know, chat with you um, if you want a candy bag made. Um, but she doesn't have an Etsy shop or anything like that. And then, of course, I will have Chris's um, Etsy link down below because you guys have to go and buy a journal. Her journals are awesome. So, and of course, I will have all the information linked down below for the shops and everything I mentioned and my whips and all that. So, just wanted to add that in. So, thanks. Um, plans. I have a couple plans. I have um, the owl be stitching um, style that I'm starting with NBC Stitcher on August 13th. Um, I want to start the Susan B sampler. I think it was somebody said that there was a sow going on for that. Um, if you're watching, if you could just put the information down below again, or I can Google it. I think you said there was a Facebook group, but I forgot to write it down and now I can't find it. Um, and I want to do that. And I may start another sampler. I want to start hunter gatherer for my husband, which I have all the floss for. And I also, hopefully, am going to be picking up um, Teresa Kogut's Heaven and Earth sampler from Acorns when I go next week, if she has it in stock, hopefully. So I may be starting one or two more samplers. I'm crazy. Um, I will have Memorial Day FFO'd for you and possibly another finish. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. Um, thank you so much for sticking with me and um, for just being, for just being you, for keeping me company, being so positive and uplifting. Oh, um, I wanted to say, I think it was two weeks ago, my last video, when I showed my three finishes and I showed a three or four finishes when I showed the snarky pillow that I did for Carla Rolodex birthday sal. Um, and I gave it to my oldest daughter. Um, I got a comment that said that um, they were disappointed in, in me showing a bad word. I do apologize for that. Um, I did reply back to their comment, um, but if I did offend anybody, I do apologize. Um, I did try to warn ahead of time that I was gonna be showing a bad word. I didn't read it for that purpose because I didn't want it out just in case there were kids in the room. I did, I do stitch bad words, I do stitch snarky pieces. I don't show them that often um, just because, you know, for for reasons like this, it, I don't want to like disappoint anybody. Um, but if I do show them, I try to, you know, give a little bit of a warning like, hey, don't look at the screen or hey, look at the screen if you want to read it kind of thing. So I do apologize for offending anybody if I did. I know I did at least one person. Um, that is not my intention, but it was a really cute pillow. My daughter loves it and it was kind of, it did remind me of Carla. It was totally Carla, Rolodex Stitcher. So that's why I stitched it. Um, anyways, that is it. I am beyond exhausted. Um, I was to have an interview tonight, um, but we've postponed it for a little while. Um, I think they just needed some time and I understand that completely. Um, so um, maybe in a month or so, we will we will try again. So at least I have the evening tonight to relax and get some stitching done. Thought I'd insert this. Thought I was done with my video and I was out here editing and I get a notification from the app um, of our brand new truck that we have that um, a tire sensor went off. Turns out my husband had a really bad flat tire and had to pull off on the side of the road and the brand new truck was supposed to come with a jack. Well, it didn't have a jack. So I had to go into the dirty garage and carry a big old huge heavy jack that we have um, out of it into the back of my car. I go take it to my husband and that didn't work. So we had to call roadside through insurance. He came out and, you know, my husband had basically already taken the tire off. It got high enough, but we couldn't get the spare on. So he came out, put the spare on, and we have a huge metal chunk that just penetrated a brand new tire. 
so he is currently going to see if it can get fixed. So add that to the day of being at urgent care pretty much most of the day. And it is now um, almost five o'clock and I still haven't got my video edited and I haven't really stitched anything but that little bit of fill in I showed you. Anyways, <laughs> back to the video. Anyways, um, I don't think there's anything else. I'm just rambling right now. So I just want to say thank you to everybody. Um, don't forget to do the keywords only on this video. I will draw in two weeks um, my next update. And until then, I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and you just keep on stitching. So thanks, everybody. Happy stitching. Bye.